10 Lessons on Mental Toughness from Navy SEAL David Goggins. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast, and I was flying from Yale University down to South Bend, Indiana. I had a layover from Bradley International in Chicago O'Hare before we flew into South Bend. I'm walking to my gate in the airport, and I see this guy walking through, shaved head, over six feet tall, pretty jacked, and he's got a bag, duffel bag in his hand walking like he's 10 feet tall and bulletproof, and I noticed the trident of a Navy SEAL polo that he had on. I had recognized the polo because it's the same polo David Goggins is wearing in the video that I linked to yesterday here in Mental Performance Daily. And as I walked by, I saw Goggins peel over to a gate where he was there by himself, and I said, I need to go talk to that guy. I think that's David Goggins. And then the excuses kicked in. Oh, don't go bother him. He's probably busy. You got to get to your gate. You see, fear had set in going, here's an opportunity to go talk to somebody who you respect, somebody who you look up to, somebody that you want to pick the brain of. But I kept walking to my gate. And as I got closer to my gate, I said, Brian, if you don't turn around and engage with David Goggins, you're going to regret this the rest of your life. So I walked back over to the gate, Goggins sitting there by himself at an empty gate, eating a power bar. And I peeled off again. Went onto my phone, searched David Goggins to make sure it was him. You see, this was about a decade ago, and he wasn't quite the superstar that he is already right now, if you're familiar with who David Goggins was. The only way I had heard of him was a Navy SEAL athletes video I showed yesterday. So I walked over to the gate at O'Hare Airport, and I said, excuse me, are you David Goggins? And he looked up at me, and he said, yes, sir. I said, man, I'm a huge fan. I've been showing your Navy SEAL athletes video for about a decade to athletes all over the country. I know you went through Hell Week three times as a SEAL. I know you're one of the top ultra endurance athletes on the planet. You set a world record for pull-ups and you've run around a parking lot in Grapevine, Texas for 48 hours. Can I ask you a couple questions? And he cracked a very small smile and he said, for sure. Yes, sir, what do you got? I said, Mr. Goggins, how do you do what you do? What do you know now? as a Navy SEAL and one of the top ultra endurance athletes in the world that you wish you knew when you had just gotten started. And he said, you want me to give it to you straight? I said, yes, sir. And in what was a very intense and profane laced next couple minutes, which was epic, David Goggins shared 10 principles that I want to share with you about how to develop mental toughness like a Navy SEAL. He said, never show weakness. Never feel sorry for yourself. He says it's a worthless, useless emotion. He said you've got to stay patient in the face of adversity. He knows that the only easy day was yesterday, that it pays to be a winner, that the race to excellence has no finish line, that you don't rise to the occasion, you're going to sink to your training and habits. He said not dead, can't quit. If you got one breath, you can take one step, and if you can take one step, you can get to the finish. He said you got to learn to make adversity your advantage. And then I take from Jocko Willing to add to our 10th here. The one word, good. So you can see these 10 lessons from Navy SEAL community listed here in the show notes below today's episode. And I want you to decide which one of these 10 lessons that you feel like is going to help you to create the mindset and mental toughness you're looking for. Is it to one, never show weakness. Two, never feel sorry for yourself. Three, stay patient in the face of adversity. Four, realize that the only day or the only easy day was yesterday. Five, know that it pays to be a winner. Six, realize that the race to excellence has no finish line. Seven, understand that you don't rise to the occasion. You sink to your training and habits. Eight, realize that you're not dead, so you can't quit. Nine, learn to make adversity your advantage. Or 10, just say the word good. Let me know on social media which one it's going to be. Hit me with a direct message on Instagram at Brian Kane Peak. I'd love to hear from you which of these 10 lessons from David Goggins and Navy SEAL community is going to be the one that you choose to focus on with intention here in quarter one, 2023. Dominate the day. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comments. We'll see you tomorrow.